What is up everybody, Hungry Cabigon here. Today we are building the legendary Exodia Incarnate model kit. Now, uh, this is probably the uh, most difficult model kit I've ever taken on. As you can see, there is a lot of pieces in here. So, uh, altogether there's about 11 runners I think it was. And yeah, it's, it's not too difficult to put together. We don't need glue, we don't need anything like that. Uh, you do need some clippers, uh, some nippers to, to take the pieces out of the, the rails, but apart from that, it, it all goes together quite easily, but yes, there is a lot of pieces. Now we have all the pieces out. You'll see there is actually a few stickers. Uh, I didn't actually bother to put them on in this build just purely because uh, we need some tweezers. They're very, very small. It's uh, Exodia's eyes and just on the chin. But yeah, apart from that, uh, that's we, we did everything as, as per the instructions. So there is a lot of pieces, as you can see, it's very fiddly. But the thing I do like about it is because there's not many stickers, all of the different colored effects are different colored pieces of plastic. As you can see, it all fits together nicely and it gives it a much more kind of rich uh, color and depth to it, which I really like, as opposed to just whacking some stickers on there. What I like here is uh, the gold detailing on the chest. So you'll see this coming up now. Uh, there is actually gold pieces that go on the chest and I really think it fits the kind of Egyptian god theme that we're going for here. And it, it really makes it pop a lot more than, uh, as I said before, like having just stickers on there. So I really like that, that's a really nice touch. And uh, we almost got the whole body here together with the head to go on soon. And I really like the idea of kind of assembling it as if it is the cards. We've got the head, we've got the arms, we've got the legs. It's going to all together to come to make the ultimate monster. It's really nice. I love it. Now that we've got the body almost together, the head is almost ready to go on. I think this part of it is the most kind of time consuming, the body and the head. There is lots of small uh, pieces, especially in the face, etc. Uh, but once it kind of comes together, you feel like, yes, all right, we're definitely making progress here. So now we're moving on to the arms. Uh, I'm not going to show the full process of it. It is uh, reasonably time consuming. I'll, I'll just kind of show you the process of making one. And as you can see uh, to the left there, there is also some chains which will be going on the, the wrist and the ankles, which is a very nice touch. So yeah, we're kind of putting together the shoulder plate and the arms. Uh, obviously this is sped up. This was a reasonably time consuming model. I mean, I was doing it in front of a camera, so it's a little bit more time consuming, but probably took um, an hour or two to make. And I, I don't know, I'm obviously like slow at making this more advanced level models. Um, but yeah, it is reasonably time consuming. It was longer than I expected, but that's the fun of it. It was very satisfying to put together all the pieces. So uh, once the arms are together, we'll move on to the legs, obviously. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'll show you just one by one. You get the idea uh, and we'll, we'll do the other one off camera. One touch that I particularly like with this model is the, the chains. I think that's a really nice way that it, they've got it actually like linked together. So it moves and uh, has that free flowing chain uh, effect. It's really, really nice. And I actually saw uh, somebody had posed theirs where he's, kind of hogtied with his arms and legs behind his back using the chains to tie him up which is it's kind of a a random unnecessary touch but i i kind of like that i think it's kind of cool 
so now we're moving on to making the legs. Again, a little bit time consuming to get it together and I'm kind of, I'm using the instructions obviously, but I'm kind of uh, doing some trial and error and there's a few times where it doesn't quite fit as snugly as I would like. And uh, as you saw before, I had to kind of get the, the nippers out again and give it another clip just to make it kind of fit together. I would advise maybe uh, to use a file as well. I, I felt like there was a, com a couple of parts where it was a little bit hard to cut, uh, but a little file might have been good just to kind of move down, uh, sand down the bit that I wanted to get a little bit more precisely to fit. I think that would be a good investment. But if you're like an experienced model maker, this is probably, you know, you probably have like a bunch of tools ready to go. Whereas I'm kind of just using nippers and just trying to wing it basically. So yeah, uh, but the legs are coming together well and uh, we're almost ready at this point to put the whole thing together and get the Exodia formed. Okay, so now is the moment of truth. We are assembling Exodia, all of the pieces. So uh, once you have all the limbs built and the body, it does snap together quite easily. Uh, as you can see here, I'm kind of just throwing all the pieces together, but it's really satisfying because You've kind of built up to all the small pieces. Oh, his chin fell off there. <laughs> You're building up to the end where you've got all the limbs assembled and we're putting them all together to form the Moji Exodia. And uh, this really makes me want to get all of the cards. <laughs> I really want to get that. There's plenty of versions of them in Japan here which are very cheap to get. So I would love to get the whole set. I think we pulled the, the left leg uh, prismatic rare in a box uh, once, but I would love to have the whole body and uh, I, I kind of um, yeah I feel like I should have um, I should have got the whole set while I had the chance because I actually don't know how much they cost now but yes he's getting closer to completion I'm loving seeing it all come together my uh, my toil in the hot room up here to get him all put together it's almost complete and uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with the level of maneuverability. I think that there is a variety of poses you can do, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do pose-wise to get him looking really cool. I also just wanted to show off a little bit of the, the detail on this model. So it's kind of hard to see in this video, but if you look closely uh, on the back, on even the bottom of the feet, there is a lot of good detail, the face, it's very, very uh, detailed and very cool uh, when you have a close look at it, which really adds to the overall dynamic of the model. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think of this model. If you want to see more, let me know. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Take it easy.